If you'd like to make your NFL games a little more interesting, you've come to the right place. It's the Even Money Podcast with Ross Tucker and Steve Fezzik. Yeah, Vegas, baby, Vegas. It is the Even Money Podcast presented, of course, by DraftKings Sportsbook. People love the show. And we love that you love it. I'm Ross Tucker, former NFL offensive lineman at Ross Tucker NFL on social media. This show and all the different shows part of my network can be found on YouTube as well. If you want youtube.com slash Ross Tucker NFL. Today's format is going to be a little bit different. You have no idea the technical issues, the child care issues, the agenda, the meeting issues. We're going to start with our picks for this week because we have to, because of time constraints now at this point. We'll get to the recap later on in the show. I will do that, but we want to get you our bets. We want to get them to you now. We're going to start with the Thursday night game. It is the New Orleans Saints and the Arizona Cardinals. Steve, the Cardinals are laying one and a half. The Saints are getting one and a half. The total is 45. I am going to tease the Saints up. I'm going to tease the Saints up to seven and a half, and I'm going to pair that with the Colts, who I'm also teeing up to eight and a half. So Saints, taking the Saints up to seven and a half, taking the Colts up to eight and a half. All right, so I think this is a great teaser opportunity here for Thursday night. I'm going to go ahead and tease up New Orleans. Classic Wong teaser. Going to tease them with the Dallas Cowboys that just need to win two units, uh, six-point NFL teaser. Love it. I'm doing the two units as well. Obviously, I'm not pairing them with the Cowboys. I'm going with the Colts, but I uh, I'm with you on the two-unit two-team teaser involving the Saints. Let's go Giants-Jags. The Giants are getting three points on the road at the Jacksonville Jaguars. The total is 42 and a half. And Steve, I kind of like the Giants getting the three points. The Giants have been good to me so far. I'm going to go ahead and put two units on the Giants getting the three points on the road in Jacksonville. So at Vegas is telling you who's going to win this game. What are the Jaguars doing laying a field goal here against a Giants team that has been much better? Frankly, uh, teams like the Giants, I'd say they're overrated, but Vegas knows they're no good. That's why this line is minus three. At minus three, I'll lean, just a lean to the Giants. I'm taking them. As I said, I'm taking them. That is too many points. They're the better team. I mean, this, this is a crazy, crazy line to me. I'm sure there's some advanced statistics or metrics or whatever, but come on. Packers against the Commanders. The Packers are on the road laying five and a half. The total is 41 and a half. So Packers on the road. Laying five and a half, total 41 and a half. I got nothing. Uh, it looks like Heineke will start for Washington. I guess I would lean Washington, if anything, but I got nothing on this one. Two teams that are completely unbettable. I don't want any part of this dysfunctional Green Bay team. Maybe Washington will be better. The Commodores, if you will. The Commandos, I don't know what we're calling them this week. Maybe with Heineke, this team will get a jolt of energy. Still, I uh, was not impressed. The win against the Bears, six-yard winning touchdown drive. Bears in the red zone like three times. Somehow they can't score any of those three. I want no part of either one of these teams. This is an easy pass. Lions are at the Cowboys. Lions are getting seven points. They're coming off the bye. Dak Prescott's coming. He looks like he'll start coming off the injury. I'm nervous about this one, Steve, but I'm going to lay, I'm going to catch the seven points with the Lions 
for uh, one unit, just one unit. If it was seven and a half, I'd put two units on, but one unit, I like the Lions and Dan Campbell getting their seven points. The total is 48 and a half. So I am teasing the Cowboys, of course, with New Orleans. One caution, the reason I'm not laying it also with Dallas, Detroit is coming off a bye and they're on the road as an underdog. That is a very positive situation for a team. Uh, If you're coming off a bye, for whatever reason, teams do better when they're on the road than when they're at home. So we have examples this week. Houston and Detroit are in really good post-bye situations, but I'm still going to tease Dallas. By the way, the reason why Steve looks so jacked is because, like me, he started taking athletic greens. Love that Steve rocks the tank top on the show now. Athletic Greens gives you 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, adaptogens. Helps you start your day right. It's lifestyle-friendly. It costs less than $3 a day. They've got about a zillion five-star reviews at this point. You can reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop. In a cup of water every day. To make it easy, Athletic Green is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash money. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash money to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. The Bucks are laying 10 and a half. On the road against Carolina. Bucks at Carolina. The total's 40 and a half. Steve, 10 and a half is too much for me. I thought about leaning. I will lean to the Panthers, but that's all it is for me is just to lean. They burned me last week getting 11 against the Rams, which we'll get to a little bit later. But I'm going to, I'm just going to stay away. I would lean Carolina, but it's just a lean. This is bet against versus bet against. Tom Brady, his entire career has been all in, and now he's all out. Goes to weddings on Fridays, takes Wednesdays off. Don't want any part of Tampa right now, but this Panther squad, dysfunctional. Steve Wilkes, you know, sending uh, Robbie Anderson to to the sideline and then to Arizona. Normally teams have a kumbaya come together when they have a new coach and everybody bonds. That did not happen with Carolina. 200 yards of offense, McCaffrey single-handedly got over half of it. I don't want any part of these Panthers. I got to pass. The Falcons are in Cincinnati, and the Falcons are getting six points. The continued lack of respect for our undefeated ATS Atlanta Falcons is beyond me. Two units, Falcons, Getting the six points. I am ride or die with these dudes until proven otherwise. I was going to lean over in this game. I was thinking about playing it. You know, the Falcons are a dead not over team. Mariota has been super efficient. But this Bengal team, the offense got their stripes back at at New Orleans. But the defense has actually been pretty good for the Bengals. And with that high total, it can just be a lean. I'll lean over in this game. Totals 47 and a half. Browns, Ravens, Browns are on the road and they're getting six and a half points. The total is 46 and a half. I can only lean Cleveland here. They would have to be getting seven and a half for me to go there. I'm not going to lay six and a half with the Ravens. They let everybody come back against them. I mean, Ravens don't blow anybody out. They let everybody come back against them. They can't hold on to a win. So this is just a lean to uh I actually I don't even have a lean. No, it's a lean to Cleveland. Lean to Cleveland getting the six and a half. Totals 46 and a half. Ravens cannot be trusted in end games. I'm gonna lean to the Ravens in the first half here to take the lead. And then who knows, probably blow it again in the fourth quarter. So just a lean to the Ravens first half. By the way, if you want to get tickets to this game, Steve, I'm looking at it right now. Browns at Ravens on the Game Time app, which I'm obsessed with these days. It's only 55 bucks, only $55. There's a reason why Game Time 
is the fastest growing ticketing app that guarantees the lowest price on tickets to all your favorite sports, concerts, and shows. Checkout takes less than 30 seconds. And because they know that I live in Hershey, they're already showing me when the Blink-182 concert will be here near me as well, which is awesome. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and redeem code MONEY for $20 off your first purchase. Again, that's MONEY for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download Game Time. Last-minute tickets. Lowest price guaranteed. Colts at the Titans. Colts are getting two and a half. Totals 42 and a half. I already teased the Colts up to eight and a half and paired them with the Saints. Love that two-unit, two-team teaser. So this is a best bet for me. I am backing the Indy Colts, two units. I've seen this pattern before. I get two roughly equal teams, and I'm at home. The Colts, I lose just a few weeks ago in a game I won the stats. Now I go to your crib. I return the favor with um, extra motivation in this game. I know the Titans, it looks like the, it's the Titans with the better spot. I think the recent revenge is more significant. I'm on two units, Indianapolis Colts. Wow. Um, okay. Love it. Texans, Raiders. The Texans are getting seven points on the road. The total's 46. It's a lean to the Texans for me. I'd probably put a unit on it because of the way they're playing defense. If they were getting seven and a half, it's right on seven. So it's just a lean to Houston for me, Steve. So good spot for the Texans off the bye on the road, but my power ratings make this eight and a half. So I'm going to get at the Raiders. I'm going to tease the Raiders to Monday night football with the New England Patriots. Both teams basically just have to win the game. Two units, Raiders, Patriots, six point NFL teaser. The Jets are playing the Broncos. This is really interesting to me. Because the Jets are getting three points. The total's 40 and a half. I was initially going to tease the Jets in this one because earlier they were getting two and a half. They're no longer getting two and a half. So I'm going to just put two units on the Jets getting three points. I can't believe this line got bet up from two and a half to three. Give me the Jets getting the three points, two units. So I got to be honest, I was taping podcasts late last night. I missed the second half of the Broncos game, although I hear I didn't miss much at all in terms of Russell not cooking. Um, with this line all the way down to three, the value is on Denver minus three, especially with the Jets off back-to-back -back wins. Can't do it, Ross. Cannot do it with a... Certainly the Jets have been not just the superior, but the far superior team year to date. If anything, I'm going to lean Jets. The Chiefs are playing San Francisco in San Francisco. Chiefs are laying three. The total is 48 and a half. This is about where I think this game should be. This is right around where I think it should be. I'll lean Kansas City because of how beat up the Niners are. I'm a little surprised by this line, to be honest with you, but it's just a, a heavy lean to Kansas City for me. So both teams, I would argue, are in bad spots here. The Chiefs obviously off the war with my, with Buffalo, and now they're off a loss, so they're going to be fully focused. But um, But that game took a lot out of them, I think. San Francisco has been money for the most part. When they go East Coast, back-to-back -back weeks, they do great. Then they come home and they lay an egg. They failed four straight times in that circumstance situation. I think that's the, the stronger of these two trends. So I don't want any part of the Niners coming home, having been away, like a long road trip NBA team the first week back. They do poorly. Same with baseball teams. Same, I think, with the Niners. I am going to pass this game. Seahawks are in L.A. against the Chargers. The Seahawks are getting six and a half points. The total's 51. I will lean to the Seahawks based upon the way they've been playing. Man, I'm tempted to put some units on the Seahawks because the Chargers are not totally right. In fact, I'm going to do it. I just talked myself into it. Seattle, plus six and a half, one unit against the Chargers. 
So I saw this total got hit downward this morning. Frankly, I don't agree with it. I think the Seahawks are an over team. I love the way Geno's playing. I know we just saw that ugly low scoring game of the Chargers, but I think the Chargers are an over team as well. I'm going to go ahead and put two units on the over in this game. Love it. Over 51 for Steve for two units. Let's get to the Steelers and the Dolphins. Steelers are getting seven points. Tua Tunga Vialoa's back. A lot of unknown for me, Steve, with a total of 45 as to how Tua will play. So I'm just going to pass this game. I'd probably lean Pittsburgh getting the seven. So if there's one game my power ratings support the favorite, it's certainly this game. You know, Miami played very well against Minnesota. Minnesota struggling in almost every drive to just pick up one first down. Key turnover by Waddle at the end of the game cost them the game. Pittsburgh had their all-in moment against Tampa Bay. Nice effort, but Pittsburgh's a bad team with um, a bad defense and no quarterback. Um, Dolphins should roll in this game. Two units, Miami Dolphins. Wow. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Last but not least, Steve, Bears, Patriots. The Patriots are laying eight. I am going to tease the Patriots down two minus two, and I'm going to pair them with the Colts. So I've got the Colts on two teasers, both with the Saints and with the Patriots. Tease up to eight and a half, New England tease down to minus two. So this is going to be a very important game for me. I'm still involved with Circa Survivor. First prize, $6 million. There's about 300 of us left, and I have an entry and that entry is more than likely going to land on the New England Patriots. So root for the Patriots to win. I believe they will win. If they're going to win, they're going to cover their teaser. So I'm going to be teasing the Patriots. You know, let's have a prime time teaser to add to all this. The week starts with New Orleans. We're going to tease them through the three to seven corridor. I'll tease them with the Patriots as well. Downward six point NFL teaser, two units for me um, with the Thursday night to Monday night football game teasers. Awesome. I love it. Great job, Steve. Speaking of great jobs, you can buy stock right now in any of these teams, including the Patriots. Right about now might be a good time to buy stock in the Patriots over at Symbol. Pro Football Focus, that's Collinsworth's company, calls Symbol the perfect blend of sports and the stock market, offering a brand new way to invest in your favorite teams and profit off their success. Symbol took the thrill of sports betting and combined it with the profitability of the stock market to give you a platform where fortune favors you, the fan. Do what I did. Download the Symbol mobile app for iOS by searching S-I-M-B-U-L-L in the app store. I know a lot of folks that have done this. It's awesome. Use promo code money. Steve always tells you, Make sure you get these free offers that these companies put out there. You get a free team stock valued up to $150 upon signing up. That's code MONEY to claim your free stock, $150 on the Symbol mobile app. All right, just to peel back the curtain a little bit, we have had an unbelievable morning. For whatever reason, Steve tried multiple browsers. He had multiple computers. He could not hear me. So I could hear him. He couldn't hear me. And and he's got to take his son to school. And I had a school meeting and I got back late. So that's why we recorded Steve's picks first, because that's the most important part. But I literally, after I would give my pick, Steve, if you couldn't tell, didn't hear a word I said, and I just pointed at him, and then he would make his picks. This is an epic YouTube episode that you could check out, youtube.com slash Ross Tucker NFL. But sometimes you got to make it work. So we, I think we were on Steve's son's iPad, and he still couldn't hear me. I don't know what was going on with the audio, but they could not hear me or Brian on our podcast app. Before we get to the how we did last week, it should be noted, and Steve and I would have talked about this, but multiple people pointed out 
that at DraftKings, if even if it's a tie, if the other one's a loss, it's a loss. You don't get a refund. It's a loss. Everything we ever do on this show is DraftKings Sportsbook. And what the DraftKings lines are when we record. And if DraftKings says that that teaser that was a tie was a loser, then it's a loser. We heard you. Transparency is important. So Steve and I both lost those two units in week five. If you go back to that teaser that tied up, I can't remember what game it was anymore. As for this past week, could have been better, but we both were in the black. I was up three units. Steve was up two units. Commanders Bears on uh, Monday night, neither one of us did anything. Then I went on a little bit of a run. Falcons Niners, I had two units on the Falcons getting five and a half. They won the game outright. Then I had two units, and Steve and I both had two units on the Patriots getting three points. They won outright by 23. That was the best bet that hit for us. Then I put only one unit on the Jets. I kind of wimped out a little bit. On the road in Green Bay getting seven. The Jets won 27 to 10. Are you kidding me? J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Jags, Colts. Um, I had the Jags in a teaser. Steve had the Jags in two teasers. I had Jags, Saints. No, I'm sorry. Steve had Jag Saints. Jags getting eight and a half. Saints getting eight. That was a winner. We both had Jag Seahawks. Jags getting eight and a half. Seahawks getting eight and a half. Two unit, two team teaser. That was a winner. So Steve was a winner on both of his teasers. I'll get to the teaser I lost in a little bit, but our best bet teaser came through as well. Vikings, Dolphins, neither one of us had anything on that game. Bengals, Saints. I had the Saints in a teaser with the Bucks. Bucks blew it. The Bucks couldn't even just beat the Steelers. The Bucks lost outright to the Steelers. So I lost that teaser. As mentioned, Steve had the Saints in a teaser with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Ravens, Giants. Ravens, I mean, the Giants were getting five. I put two units on the G-Men. I believe in New York football right now. They won the game outright. Two units for me with the Giants. Bucks, Steelers, we already talked about. I had the Bucks in a teaser. They blew it. Panthers, Rams. Steve and I both put two units on the stinking Panthers. Getting 11 points. 11 points. It was tied at halftime. And they still lost by double digits. They couldn't do anything in the second half. They give up a touchdown. I really thought when they were down a touchdown, I thought, okay, the Rams will get another score, but it'll be a field goal. The Rams will be happy to go up two scores. They'll be happy to kick a field goal to make it 20 to 10. No. Rams scored a touchdown. Panthers bet loses. That stunk. Seahawks, Cardinals. We already mentioned uh, Steve had the Seahawks. We both had the Seahawks in a teaser along with the Jags. So the Seahawks came through for us on that teaser. They were up to eight and a half. They won the game by 10. Bills, Chiefs. Steve and I both liked the Bills uh, or the Chiefs getting three points. And this is probably why I got um, crushed by... Bills fans because of this, because they weren't happy. Look, I thought the Bills would probably win the game, but I just thought the value was too good with the Chiefs getting three points. Speaking of value, football season means it is Labatt Blue Light season, baby. And there's no better way to watch your team on game day than with the pristine Canadian goodness of a cold Labatt Blue Light in hand. Nothing better. Stock up and be the MVP of your tailgate and share a Labatt on game day with your Kuru. Always enjoy responsibly Labatt Blue Light. Absolutely love it. That was my Buffalo beer of choice, which is why I am talking about Labatt Blue Light. 
while I'm talking about the Buffalo Bills. Even though they cost me my two units, I still love my beloved Bills. Chiefs were right there. Bills end up getting a touchdown, and that makes them go up by four. So we lost by one point. It happens. That's the best bet that was a loser. Cowboys, Eagles. I leaned Cowboys getting the points. Steve leaned Eagles. Eagles covered the spread easily. They were laying four and a half last Tuesday when we recorded. They won by nine. Broncos, Chargers. Neither Steve nor I had anything on that because of the uncertainty involving Russell Wilson. Denver Broncos, happy about that. So for the week, I was up three units. Steve was up two units. So for the year, your boy, me, Ross Tucker, up 14 units, baby. 14 units, strike rates at 58%. Return on investment, 16%. And I put a lot of bets out there. 99 units I've put out there so far this year. Steve is up five units for the year. This week, uh, we are seven and five on our best bets. We had one win and two losses on our bets, best bets this week. That's not right, actually. Because we had two, we had two best bets. Oh no, I see he has a different column for it. Yeah. So we were one and two on our against the spread best bets, one and oh on our teaser best bets, two and two for the weekend. And we're um for the year, we are 10 and 10 on our best bets. What a wild, crazy even money podcast this week. Hopefully, Steve, next week we can get the audio issues fixed. At least you can hear them. At least we gave out all of our bets. And at least you know who we like this week and you can stay on the gravy train. That is the Even Money Podcast. Good luck, everybody. Hope you guys win some money. Thanks for listening to the Even Money Podcast. Make sure to also subscribe to the Ross Tucker Football Podcast, the Fantasy Feast, Business of Sports, and the College Draft. All available at Apple Podcasts, RossTucker.com, or wherever podcasts can be found.